Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 mm -hmm. and 7800 homebrew. It is a Tuesday. Yes. We've got a special show. We've got a lot of stuff. Where we're going to be <laughs> unboxing Cave Woo! Rescue, the English version. We're the first people to have... The English version. The English version, Ooh. international release of Cave Rescues. Nice. Hello, everyone in Brazil. Hello. Tuning in and everybody <clears throat> else. Uh, we've also got a pile of stuff here, which there we will get pile, to. There is a pile, a huge pile of stuff. We'll get to that in a yes. second. Um, so we're going to be playing three games tonight. 2,600 games. The first one is being Cave Rescue. Like mm -hmm. I said, we're going to be unboxing it and then playing it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, somebody's figured out what it is. <laughs> um, we're also going to be playing uh, two other new games. Uh well, updates. Updates. Uh, X versus O, which is actually a new game okay. by Chris Reed, Atari nice. 2600 Land. Nice. And we're going to be playing an update to Soul of the Beast, the final updated binary for that. Um, so we've got three games tonight. Excellent. And a bunch of mail and stories and, and updates. Stuff and, and cats. And cats. And, yes. Um, and if you want to feed the cats... You can feed the cats <laughs> yes. if you like. It's in the it's in the rewards, which I've renamed to bites instead of bits because bits are a word oh, that Twitch I see. uses. And so B Y T E S. Yes. Nice. I bites. like that. Better. So it's still computery, mm -hmm. and and you can see in the in the chat there it's zero one zero one zero. Mm. You know, so I've named it bites now. Nice. So it's not confusing. Yeah. Uh, to quote a wrestling quote, it's Tuesday night and you know what that means? <laughs> it's zero page. I yes. want to thank all the Twitch people mm -hmm. and a great name for giving treats. Yes. Bites. Bites. Give the cat some bites. That's nom right. nom noms. Yes, yes, yes. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. 8-Bit Swami, Alan the Farms, Garcoda, Atari Age, 06502, Bomberman, Pierre Pocock, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, Charles and Check, Charles Wheel and Chive, Coconut, Dino, D Dale and Andrew Darling, Dan Agassi, Dr. Moo, Cows, Emu, Dan, Fat Beavis, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, I suppose, Jedek High, Johnny WC, Carl G. Croco, 2600, Mark's Basic, Metal Atari, Mike Soul, Mr. Zoner, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Nath Stalgic, Pack Rat, Viju, Kohog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, Viju, Carter Pimpsick, Smitty Beast, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, the Welsh, Welsh Man, I almost said it like a Welsh person, <laughs> uh, Tiki Dan K, Timothy Lamphere, Trek MD, and X Ken. X and just before the show, uh, the D train resubscribed. Thank you so much, D train. Thank you to everybody else yes. who is in the chat watching the ever increasing list, which is um, awesome. Dan AVC, Vitoko, yeah. Smitty B, 7800, Carl G. Uh, how many scribes do you need to get before you try <laughs> give up trying to read the whole list at the beginning? Quite a few. We'll see. <laughs> I haven't give it, given up at, uh, I think it's maxed out at 54 so far, so yep. you'll have to keep trying. Uh, mm. Phil H4, or Pill H4, call you Phil. Uh, <laughs> Nostalgia 26, Atari 2600 dude. Bradworth Sausage. Bradworth Sausage, who makes the great joysticks. And Bibium. Uh, and Bibium. Sandra Sandro Saldi. Saldi. And everybody else. Oh, and Splendid Nut, yeah, who just the came out of lurking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Atari looks like he's tired out. Oh, he's had a hard day of I sleeping. Oh. And he's just tuckered right out from sleeping. Yeah. Um, If you want your name on the side, just hit subscribe. It's yep. free if you have Amazon Prime. And if you don't, then it's not free. Yeah. Um, and Leo Cisanti. And Leo Cisanti. Yes. Whew, just in time. Just snuck in there. <laughs> um, so we got tons and tons of news. So stick <laughs> with us, please. Metal Atari 1969 as well. Oh. It's like it's like we're doing. To it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we're doing roll call at the beginning of the. <laughs> Being a cat's really good. Uh, Bueller. It is. Bueller. So. Um, Metal Oh, oh, thank you, Rendered Ghost. Yay, Rendered Ghost. Five months. It's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I want to give a shout out to Arena Foot, mm -hmm. Brian Mathern, who lives in that red area that you're seeing on the screen oh, right now. Oh, Brian, I'm, I'm sure so you've sorry. Yeah. all heard of the devastating, uh, tor no, it's, it's hurricane, hurricane? Is it? wind destructive Windstorm. force of nature was it a hurricane oh my it gosh. was a hurricane yes um 
that went through uh, Mississippi and Louisiana. There's a massive power outage in that area oh. with more within a million people without power. That's crazy. Um, he's told me he is safe. Yeah. Uh, but he has to shelter in a nearby store. Wow. Because because that store has power. Okay. Um, and he has internet through, I think, his phone. Oh. So our well wishes go out to him mm -hmm. and hopefully things improve there soon. But yeah. Um, power may not be restored for weeks or even up to a month. That's crazy. A million people have that's no power. That's a million people. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. A million customers. Sorry, so, yeah. that is true. <laughs> so if customers. you think, multiply that by two, mm. possibly. Let's say an average of two. That's two million people mm -hmm. without power. And you can see that whole red area of Louisiana there. That's crazy. Just destroyed. Yeah, And that's I'm crazy. sure you've seen it on the news. Just everything ripped to shreds and water in the streets and roofs in the streets and yeah, yeah. so uh hopefully things improve quickly there um so my xegs failed yesterday mm -hmm. morning yeah. um i was just playing around with it and i turned it on to do some testing and it came up with the self test screen that checks the memory okay and it goes through the ROM and it goes through the RAM. Yeah. And it checks it. I don't know how it does it. Check some or yeah. it writes writes to the RAM and reads from the RAM. Yeah. But the first piece of ROM, it has two sections of ROM, yeah. came up red. Oh. The first one came up red and it and so it failed. Oh no. The checksum failed and it won't boot any cartridges. Oh no. Nothing. Oh no. So I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do now? I have to like either repair this myself, which I looked into it. It is not a simple thing. A socketed, not socketed. It's a um, like soldered, soldered on the board. Wrong on the board. Oh, I cannot you unsolder you that. Are. Thank you for subscribing, Mr. Man. Thirteen months. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, if it was socketed, I could do it myself because you just pull it out and pull one in. Okay. But by default, it ships sock um, soldered onto the board because that's cheaper. Okay. Um, because they don't have to have a riser to, so you can pull it in and out. There's no reason the average person needs to pull out a ROM chip. Yeah. So I was thinking, oh, that's it. That's it for 8-bit games for a while. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I have to send this off for sure to somebody, and that's going to take weeks and weeks for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so I was kind of in a panic. <laughs> I left it on for hours just to see and turning off and on, trying everything, just yeah. nothing. Same thing. Yeah. Broken. Um and then I was like, well, um, maybe I should just buy another one, mm. <laughs> buy another system mm -hmm. in the meantime. See, see how much they are. See how cheap they are. Um, I looked on eBay and I was like, oh, this is, it's not really cheap and it's just random. Hey, Nat Nat Nathan VL. Yeah. Um, and then I looked on Craigslist. I didn't hold up much hope mm. um, because, you know, Atari computers are not like something you either have them and are holding on to them or or they're long gone they're long gone like yeah. you've given them up a long time ago yeah um but i i just looked anyway and i came up across this magical listing <laughs> <laughs> that was exactly what i needed and more yeah it had been up for 29 days or something yeah and i was like oh god okay something is either wrong with this listing <laughs> or it's sold and they forgot to take, they it, forgot it, down. To take it down yeah, which yeah, happens yeah. like you message somebody it's like that's yeah. already sold yeah um here it's craigslist kijiji doesn't really have a good foothold in vancouver no it's yeah mainly craigslist for most east things. canada kijiji's rules all yeah yeah but uh in bc vancouver kijiji is like a nothing it's a wasteland yeah know? i think people use craigslist or facebook a lot facebook's huge i should have checked facebook there is too. pretty big yeah yeah so what this listing had well i, I bought it I bought the listing. Yeah. <laughs> bought, I bought the whole thing because it had everything I needed plus more. So let's go through what it had. It had an Atari 800XL. And this has been upgraded with the UAV from the Brewing Academy. Okay. So it has great video output. Mm -hmm. um, the 800XL has a top loading cartridge port which is beautiful just like the XEGS mm -hmm. uh, it also had an Atari 65 XE mm -hmm. which they both have 64k mm -hmm. of memory which is great yep. they're both 
in excellent they condition. They look in good condition. Like, brand new. And even, like, like, the plastic and everything doesn't look, like, it's particularly... Not, um, it's not faded. It's not faded. yellow. It's, it's yep. looking pretty good. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. Um, it also... The 65 XE came with a kind of beat-up box. I'm not too into boxes, but it came with a box. It, but you don't see boxes very often, so that's really. still pretty cool. They chuck them usually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it also came with two... Atari 1050 floppy drives. I love a good floppy drive. Look at that. Yeah. Floppy. No retro right needed. Exactly. Well, this one's a this one's a this little one's bit darker on that side. Yeah. A darker. Yeah. yeah. Not uh, bad though. So nice. Great listing. Nice. And it also also came with, and I was going to buy this anyway. <laughs> yes. So this is really great. Um, it came with a FujiNet. Um, adapter mm. um this has wireless in it and it allows you to boot off of images to run programs so you don't need the disk drives you just oh. need this and you plug it in sd card and this was the one i was going to buy oh, or wow. one of them yeah and um i think this is version one but it, it runs everything yeah that 1050 needs a retro bike yeah. yeah they are beefy yeah. um it also came with an sio to usb adapter so you mm -hmm. can hook up hard drives to your computer and read things off of the, sorry the floppy drives to okay. the computer so you can hook up the floppy drive and read it right to the to computer a, to, to an emulator oh, and run things off of that that's cool yeah. yes so, atari loot <laughs> it's exactly what i needed at the right time so eight bits will continue yeah <laughs> um i did order a bunch of adapters you probably saw that pop up on your phone um so uh. <laughs> anyway you may not have you may have been driving. Uh, that's an excellent deal. Now yeah. you won't need the Sophia. Yes, I will. <laughs> I still need the Sophia. Um, well, we'll see how good the, um, the UAV works. I still need an adapter. He did also have an adapter um, from the video out to a Commodore 64 monitor. Oh, okay. So it had the Luma Chroma separation, okay. which is equivalent to S-Video, but it's not S-Video. So I can't hook it up to this. Okay. Uh, my setup. Okay. I can only hook it up to a Commodore monitor, but I can hook up Composite to this in the meantime. But I've ordered a cable that has S video. Okay. So I will be able to, to hook, hook it, up. it up to that directly. Yeah, hook it oh, up to good. the upscaler. That's good. Did you get a bargain? It's more than I wanted to buy. Yeah. But I got a. I think I got a good deal. For a good it. deal for it all of it. It was very fair. Yeah. 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 Um, and is exactly what I needed at the time I needed it. So I'm very happy, and especially yeah. about. The Fujinet, which I was able to get quickly, right, yeah. rather than wait in the mail. Yeah. Um, so I'm really, really happy. Yeah. Does it have the uh, four-pin Minidin standard S video? It has a the five-pin. Um, the the 800 XL is the one that's upgraded mm. for the UAV, and it has the standard Atari mm. uh, computer uh, video out. So Chroma, Luma, Composite, Audio, Ground pins. Um, I did a lot of studying on that, <laughs> on that today. Um, yeah. So both of them have that output. So once yeah. I get that adapter, I can hook up either one yeah. to the RetroTank upscaler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So right now, right now I have the composite going into it, and it looks better than the XEGS already. Nice. So it's excellent. Yeah. Did you get the story behind it? Yes, but I won't. I'm not. I can't really say the story behind it. But yeah. the guy was super, super nice. Yes. Yeah. And he's uh, an Atari enthusiast. Yeah. And so him and I are going to be best buddies <laughs> forever and ever. He's, he's really into it. He yeah. already followed the Facebook page yeah. for Zero Page. You were saying that. But he wasn't really aware of what Zero Page was. Like I, the show. The yeah. show. Yeah, he followed the page. So he might funny. just be following for the news that yeah. I post. Yeah. Um, so that was that's kind interesting. of interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now he follows the YouTube channel as oh, well. That's so nice. he might that's see cool. this. Hi. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for rescuing me. <laughs> uh, when I UAV upgrade my 130XE one of these days, I plan to add a standard S video output, output on the back. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that makes it easier mm -hmm. to have it's just a standard one. Mm -hmm. uh, all the accessories will work with the XEGS. Yes, that is true. This works with the XEGS. Oh, good. Yeah. Same with this. They're all the same computer pretty much. They just have yeah. more or less RAM. Yeah. That's it. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw the latest 8 bit guy video. Yes. Uh, and he made an Atari 8 bit version of his latest games. Yes. yes. And I've got that listed in the 
homebrew listings for 2021. Um, looks really good, and you should watch that video if you haven't watched it. Um, it's uh, a great little game that he's made, mm. and now he's ported it to the 8-bit yeah. um, Atari 8-bit. So, on with the news. Um, so, I got an interesting message on YouTube about a very old video. Okay. It's the first time we played um, Draconian on the show. Draconian. Like 2018. Okay, okay. okay. And we were discussing back then the alert versus alarm. Oh yes. On it because it sounds like alert, 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 alert. No, it sounds out like alert, alert. Yeah. You can't hear the T. Yeah. And you can't hear an M. M. No. But you can hear a second A. And now this guy did research into this. Like, yeah. And he makes it conclusive what it is. And we'll see what it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is from Astera 2 about Bosconian slash Draconian. I believe I can clear this up. First and foremost, yes, it's supposed to be alert. I know because I scoured the net for Japanese resources on this item, what I found sets the record convincingly. Second, no, it does not sound like alert. In fact, it sounds considerably more like alarm. Alarm, yeah. Why is this? There are two things at play here. First, the obvious fact that there, these are very early digital clips, probably four or six bit sub five kilohertz, uh, though I don't know the specifics. The point is that the consonants tend to go bye bye under these conditions. And indeed, we can't tell what the word in question ends with. The second thing is the origin of the game, which of course is Japan. I think one of two things happened here. Either they have someone on hand who could speak some English with a reasonably convincing dialect. Or, and this one feels more likely because the speaker does, simply does not sound Japanese, they found an English speaker and coached him on what words to say. In the latter case, I can see, see it clearly. The Japanese guy would say, and then there's symbols, um, uh, kanji, saying alarto, A-L-A-R-T-O. Alarto. Um, which probably consciously avoids avoid the ending o so it comes out as alert yeah and the english speaking guy would shrug and repeat it back with the correct r sound either way the point alert. is succinct the limited number of vowels available to japanese speech means that the word begins as alarto with no ur sound because it's not available and we and and what we end up with just happens to still lack the ur sound um, for the record, so it's alert, 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 instead of alert, from alarto, uh, from alarto. Um, so they tried to anglicize it and drop the O because it's not alert, part of the or English word. That kind of makes it sounds more like alert than yeah. it does like alarm or alert. And then says he says, for the record, when I originally saw this game in the arcade as a child who didn't know any better, it sounded to me like alive, alive, and, <laughs> and blast off sounded like alive all. Then again, I had classically loud arcade ambience. To contend with and then he also gives a uh, reference point to a magazine called um, Namco Masterpiece Game Collection and this is on page number uh, 59 54 I see at the bottom there uh, yep that's where Bosconian starts oh, okay um, but then it goes and this is Japanese written as well okay so we go to page 59 59 here it actually spells it out right alert. here alert and there's the kanji for alarto alarto so that is that's so that's what he's saying it's a it's he's alert. saying alarto there but it's alert in, in english. english yeah so alert done it is settled <laughs> is it settled it's is alert it? but that's pretty cool it's very very conclusive that a japanese speaker is translating it to yeah. alarto and saying alert alert yeah so it's actually the person is saying alert <laughs> but it's supposed to be alert so there you go it's definitely not alarm how do i um... huh. oh paste it in there no what there's just someone sent oh. put a link how do you get rid of it again oh they're spammy I, that's what someone is uh, alerting <laughs> alerting yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll moderator someone said <laughs> i'll ban them go on okay they're not helping us out no, no. okay i just wasn't sure how to do yeah that. yeah so there we go 
Uh, oh, I got his Planet X2 game on my retro sh shelf. Sadly, I don't have a system to play it on. What, mm. um, did you get it for the C64 or the Atari? I know he made multiple versions of Planet X2. Mm. Um, I pre-ordered his game for the Atari 8-bits. Pre-ordered it. Oh, so you got the box version, C64. Mm. Oh, very cool. That's what I... Oh, I don't know. What would I... Is, did it come on cartridge or floppy disk? I'm not a fan of buying games on floppy mm. disk. I usually go for it on cartridge if I can. Mm. Some games just don't come on cartridge because it costs a hell of a lot more to make well, cartridges. The discs, though, how degraded do they get now? Like, they well, must be in pretty not great shape. They're probably new old stock floppy disks. Oh, I see. I doubt that somebody would still be producing floppy disks, five okay. and a quarter. Yeah. So they would be untouched. So they would be new. Yeah. But possibly degraded a bit. A yeah. Bit. yeah. Hmm. Um, so news on the uh, movie cart again. Uh, you will not believe the upgrades he has done to it. Um, so he's done two upgrades. This is the first one. So hang on here. This is cool. Um, so this is the upgrades he's done to Dragon's Lair um, for... We will have to have a showing of uh, Star Wars at some point in time. So. Here? At the house, personally? Yeah. Because we can't show it online. No? No, because it'll pick it up and ban us. You don't know that until you try. <laughs> the full audio of the movie Star Wars? Yes, it will pick that will up. Will it? Yeah. <sighs> um, so. That's a shame. I think I can play the audio here. Mm. <laughs> bit okay so he says so i've started to use this was yesterday so i've started to use the newly freed up cycles so this is a comparison to what it was on the left and what he's improved it to <laughs> is that 3d so yeah, it just, says <laughs> just cross your eyes yeah it's 3, no it's, yeah it's what it what it used to be yeah and what he's improved oh, it to oh no. okay yeah yeah the you black see in the face it's a lot more yeah the black is a little more um Less downed. less sparkly. Yeah, yeah. less sparkly. That's so I've started to use up the newly freed up cycles to see how things might improve if I was able. A little more detail on character shape. Yeah. Yes. If I was able to change the background color each scan line in the tests below, the left side is the original, while the right side select allows a color change once per scan line. This causes a big improvement on scenes with solid color background. Uh, I've also made a change to the dithering algorithm to clamp values to 0 to 1 after distributing error. This eliminates some of the ghosting and noise after high contrast areas. I think the changes are markedly better. It's still a proof of concept. Uh, more, A little more work should get it into the emulator next. Um, so he talks more about this. But the next day, he posts another video. Um... And this one compares the original video okay. to now his new and improved version. Uh, here's the next test with... I need to turn that down. This is a huge improvement. Wow. What he just posted. Uh, wow. This is the next test with better foreground separation. Note in this case it includes simulated 60 hertz checkerboard flicker, so it's best seen at 720p60. Uh, and this is the actual audio that's encoded in the movie. Into the movie. Oh yeah. Look at the quality on that. Like, you can actually tell what's going on. Yeah, here. you can. <laughs> this is unbelievable. That's amazing. Wow. That's so crazy. Like, you could probably play it now. Yeah. Like, you can see snakes. You can see his rope. You can see where the flashes are. Like, that's a door. Oh, yeah. it's amazing. It yeah. looks it looks so sharp. And he didn't, he's not even done yet. He still knows that there's room for improvement. Yeah. More playable than some versions that exist. Yeah. Eyebrow level resolution. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, you can see yeah. the eyebrows now. <laughs> Very true. Let's skip ahead a bit. Like, completely playable. It looks playable. amazing. Let me see if I can uh, make this bigger. Wow. There we go. Totally watchable. Yeah, it is. Yep, very watchable. So now he's able to use this as well to enclose, enclose uh, 
encode movies as well. Wow. Um, and, he, and he gave some examples for the old encoding system for movies, and it was good, but he hasn't shown it with this one. Mm. Unbelievable. So what they're working, to, what he's working towards is an actual playable Dragon's Lair on the on, on the twenty six hundred. Wow. Which I think he now can achieve. Wow. Using at at minimum this. Yeah. Yeah. Fully interactive movies on the yeah. twenty six hundred. So yeah. he could start doing this, and then he can do Space Ace and all the rest of the uh, cartoon laser disc videos and somebody else in the thread posted he should use a better source mm. because that source is from something he just got off the U off youtube oh i see and it's so actually it's just a yeah okay a, a very compressed and somebody posted a side-by-side -side comparison of all of them and there's an hd version really of, of all that video of that because wow. it's originally a, a cartoon right yeah that's true that so would, it's would, potentially quite high resolution yeah hi sir Finally, the multimedia revolution of Sega CD comes to 2600. <laughs> Night Trap, you could... Uh, Night Trap. Theoretically, you could port some of those games as yeah, well. Yeah, you could. If yeah. it's just left, right, up, down. Yeah, very simple um, and triggers. It, and, and some of them had menus, though. Yeah. Uh, so if he's able to separate the top half and do some different graphics in the bottom, then maybe. We'll maybe. See. That might be a bit much. But what yeah. other Laserdisc arcade games were there? Dragon's oh. Lair, Space Ace, Dragon's Lair 2, and Cliffhanger. Well, I've never heard of Cliffhanger, so you beat me on that. <laughs> I want Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future with the light gun. You could do that too. Yeah. The 2600 yeah. supports a light gun. Mm -hmm. But it would... It would some oh, that'd be hard though. Yeah. Thank you, Pack Rat hey, BG, Pack Rat. for resubscribing. Um, yeah, because usually when the light goes, goes off, it switches to a screen yeah. that just has, like, dots, are dots on it. Yeah, but yeah. That's that's possible. That's really interesting. Wow. Um, so, next up. That's insane. In the news, uh, I, uh, I messaged this guy and saying, hey, we're going to show your demo yeah. on the show. Mm -hmm. And then he uh, sent me an exclusive update for his demo. Oh, uh, cool. For the show. Cool. Um, it is, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this. You probably have heard of this. Maybe not. Okay. The Flying Toaster Screensaver. I know what the Flying Toaster Screensaver <laughs> is. Yes. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Somebody made a Flying Toaster's, uh, R. Siddle, um, who made the game Awakening we played recently. Okay. Made the Flying Toaster Screensaver for the Atari 2600. Oh, my gosh. Now I want to see 2001 on my 2600. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So. If you can grab that joystick, I'm going to switch over. Oh, the cats are cats. freaking Ooh. out. He did not like me moving. No. So, yeah. Nope. Run. After dark for the win. So if you can go to today's date and then load. Actually, don't load that yet. Uh -huh. um, I want to show people what the original screensaver looked like. So you get an idea. For those who haven't seen it, I'm sure most of the people are the appropriate age for knowing about oh, that. Oh, yes. I, I certainly remember it. So nice. That's music too. Has music? Actually, I want to make sure that this doesn't have copyrighted music. No. Nope. Okay, we're probably safe. Oh, there's flying toast too. It's been a long time since <laughs> I've seen the flying toast. Me toasters. too. <laughs> <laughs> then the toes pops up out of the flying toasters. So uh, we developed a great looking screensaver for the 2600. It's a port of the 1989 software pack After Dark made by Berkeley Systems for Windows, Apple, and DOS. Now I get the After Dark references. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the most famous of the included screensaver modules of the I I are, is the iconic flying toasters, which featured 1940s style chrome toasters Sporting bird-like wings. Uh, bird-like wings uh, flying across the screen with pieces of toast. Engineer Jack Eastman came up with the display after seeing a toast in, toaster in the kitchen during a late-night programming session and imagining the addition of wings. Uh -huh. So there's the original. Oh, it has, like... Uh, it has the words at the bottom. So you, could, you can sing along if you feel wings. like it. Do, 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 do. Hilarious. 
Nowadays, it's flying air fryers. <laughs> Yeah, why didn't they use the toast as wings? That's kind of an interesting thought. Yeah, yeah they could have. Um, so let's take a look at the 2600 nice. version of this. <laughs> so okay. load it up. Flying toasters. Uh, so this is an exclusive version of flying toasters. Yep. Um, yep, go for it. heard it through the microphone here it's a little loud the toast and the flying toasters he said just a quick note to let you know i'm working on offering an option of how burnt you'd like the toast to be <laughs> uh, this can be accessed by hitting the select on the 2600 or emulator for some reason i can't keep the music playing when adding the option to reset it just drops out possibly due to my code i can however add a reset to the fire button on your joystick I haven't posted this version yet. Thought I'd send it your way first, since you're nice enough to give a mention on your show. So thank you, Rodney, for making the, the uh, demo couch compliant by putting the reset button on the joystick. Oh, nice. There we go. <laughs> so, press it again. Oh, can you make it darker? No, I don't think he's added it in yet. No. It's not making it darker. Let me try the reset. Just in try a select switch? No? Oh, no. So he's working on that right okay. now. Fair enough. Yep. So it's got the music. Yeah. Adorbs. <laughs> it is very it's adorable. Very, very, very cute. Yep. And it's got the perf. It's got the music. It's got the toast. It's got the it's got toast. The toaster. It's got the wings. Yep. It's got the wings. Perfect. It's perfect. It kind of flies faster too and slows down. Yeah. Very, very cute. Maybe one is darker than the other. Try it again. Oh, yes. Okay. Press it again. And again. And again. It is. I don't think it's changing in color. It is. Oh, I don't think not. it is. Maybe I don't not. think it is. Just my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> After you reset the system? What? Manually have to re reset the system, I think. Oh, I was making it darker. Oh, with the reset switch. Okay. Oh. It was a little bit. Should we try yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Try it again. So the reset switch was doing it. Let me hit. Oh, oh there, it there it is. It's select. Yeah, that's. Oh, oh there we go. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's burnt. Oh, burnt toast. Oh, very cute. They are very burnt toast. <laughs> <laughs> very dark. That's so funny. Oh, that's adorable. That's really cute. Yeah. So, awesome. Thank you, Rodney, for making that awesome screensaver yeah, for the 2600. That's great. Yeah, toast. <laughs> Yay, toast. <laughs> so, do you have your phone? And can you send over a picture from your phone from last night? <laughs> yes, I can. And I'll start the story. All right, hold on. So. You need to see my reaction, so hold on. Okay, we'll wait. Is there another? Oh, I can go on to the next piece of news. Um, so, uh... It, oh, well, she's almost here. Oh, for the... I'm proud to announce that for the fourth annual Atari Homebrew Awards, we are officially going to be adding Lynx, Atari Lynx Homebrew to it. So I want to thank Igor. Um, a closer one would be better. One that shows really... Uh, finding a picture here. No, that's no good. No. Oh, keep going. Right to the beginning. Oh, that one. This one? Yeah, that one's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> that one, maybe just send them all if you can. Well. Um, send it to chat, because I can get chat on here. Okay. Um, so thank you to Igor from AtariGamer.com. He'll be helping out with the Lynx homebrew game. So thank you so much. Uh, cool, adding links to AHA, yes. Did we just lose the feed? I hope not. No, it's all good. Um, I was probably just not saying anything. Um, so, yeah, and I don't know if anybody knows offhand how many um, Jaguar games was, were released this year, or maybe last year. Is anybody into Jaguar? 
we need at least 10 to really qualify to um should be able to sh share it right from pictures to uh, nope because they are shutting down chat no hangouts you can't send it to chat which is ridiculous what i i sent it to chat i sent things to no, chat today no it goes through hangouts oh stupid google why why do you have to make everything harder than it needs to send be? it through mail mail it to me Ugh. um so i'll tell you the story no there's like no link I'm no sorry. i didn't get a link so I, i'm gonna have to do emulator i'm not I'm not gonna buy links <laughs> not right now i'm not too into handhelds actually i do have a couple handhelds i did send it but it oh, had to go through you? hangouts which is like if you're canceling hangouts you have to have the same functionality in chat, chat does google, have google. it anyway it just shake my fist at you Rawr. Rawr. okay now i can tell the story so last night uh last night yeah last it night, was last night yes i was um testing out um some games yeah. for john shampoo uh he was wondering because he'd had reports that some of the arm games were not working on the coleco vision mm. with the atari add-on the uh, ColecoVision module extension number one, mm -hmm. where it's a little add-on you can play Atari games on your Coleco. All it does is use the Coleco as a video out. Um, so he asked in the forums, does anybody have a Coleco with uh, an Atari add-on? And like, I do, I do. Mm -hmm. um, let me test that out for you. So I got uh, the Coleco down from the shelf above what you see here. It's all right above the camera. Yeah. Um, and um uh, it has swinging like quite long swinging doors they're about that long and so i had them swung out and i was testing the um i was setting it up actually and i stood up really quick really really quick yeah and slammed my head right here mm -hmm. right into the corner of it and i've done this multiple times before yeah Never this hard. <laughs> it was really, really hard. I slammed it into Oh, that. yeah, it must have been. And I was like, oh, that hurt a lot. And I'm like holding my head and rubbing it. You know, yeah. when you hurt something, you're like, ah, I don't know why that, why you do that. Or um, does, I guess it helps a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so I'm like, oh, that hurt a lot. I'm rubbing it. Then I'm like, oh, I take my hand down and it's full of blood. <laughs> my hand is completely red. Oh. Like in Lord of the Rings when they go smack on the oh. Urquai or whatever they are, the the, the uh. mud monsters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they go smack and on their face. Yeah. It's fully red. Yeah. And uh I was upstairs and I was just watching TV or something and I hear him go, Oh, can you come downstairs? <laughs> and I'm like, Yeah, I'll be a second. And then there's a pause, and then it's a little louder. No, you need to come down right now. And and I'm like, oh, okay. Didn't say, oh, I'm bleeding or anything like that. And I come downstairs, and you're leaning over the sink in our bathroom, which yeah. is a white sink. Yeah. And there's just blood everywhere. <laughs> like, like just, he's dripping. There's, like, spatter coming out of the sink all over the counter. And I was just like, oh, my God, what, what did you do? Are you, yeah, the, um, no, 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 don't put. That one shows. No? Yeah, just be careful. No, no, I am going to be careful. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's the best one. Uh, yeah, it was, it was just like, uh, it was like out of a horror scene. And at the end of the day, you can see he's fine. He's fine. Now. Yeah, now. And you have a small cut. It was straight out of, uh, Carrie. Oh, yeah. It was, <laughs> it was my whole head was red yeah. with blood. Yeah. I was wearing a white t-shirt. I don't know how he did not get blood on not, his white t-shirt. Not a drop <laughs> was on my shirt. Oh, good night, Nathan. Good night, Nathan. <laughs> yeah. Have a good night's sleep. Yeah, he is the programmer for Cave Rescue. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is the last story. So if you want to stick around just like a 10 minutes. more minutes. Yeah, yeah. Um but I'm going to show you this because... Yeah, you can kind of see the... This is after... Um, clean... I cleaned his cleaned face, face. And you can see all the... You can see blood on my eyebrows there. <laughs> it was all down. Yeah. 
Uh, and yeah. then I'll show you another picture. Oh, I don't show too many. I don't think people want to see. Yeah, just uh. warning. <laughs> warning. Good Lord is right. Yeah, yeah. And here's another picture. Yeah. You can see it's that's oh, it's making me queasy right now. Yeah, it's making him queasy. <laughs> I've seen cadavers look better than that. Yeah, he was pretty pale when I came across him. So, so. my whole hairline oh, was just covered. And we couldn't it was see where so the bad. we couldn't see where the cut was. We couldn't see where the yeah, because it wasn't like a big ginormous, you know, like gaping wound or anything. It was no. just a small cut. Yeah. Um, but that was a gray towel before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> Okay, oh, so let's get enough on about blood. Enough about blood. Sorry. Enough about blood. But rage anyway, rage reset. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he, um, you were okay after you lay yeah. down for a bit, and it and yeah. it's just a small. He just has a little small cut. But uh, I used to work as a lifeguard, and I was telling James, I twice had to deal with head injuries at, at at my work. Yeah. And it always bleeds a lot. It's like tiny cuts. It's not necessarily a big injury. But I was bleeding like crazy. You cut your head, it just goes everywhere. So, anyway. So, it He's is fine. time He's to fine. do uh, the unbox. We'll talk about more later. Yeah, that's fine. Time to do the unboxing of Cave, <laughs> yep. cave Rescue yep. um, by Nathan uh, Vascalo. Oh, my God. Vasconcelos? 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 Um, from ERA Games Homebrew. So, they gracefully graciously i graciously no this. stitches needed thank no goodness. well we'll see but well no. i don't think so i it looks like it's healed over so, so they sent this to me recently and i thank them so much for that yeah i want to make sure i don't rip this do you want to cut it, it? sealed would you I don't prefer want to, to cut, cut it? it either you sure because i want to fold it in yeah so it still has the intact sticker yeah, so you're lucky you have him today. No. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I am fine. It was rather dramatic, but not uh, in the end, not a very big injury. But and so. I rested up a bit and then did the video <laughs> recording for John. Yeah. And in fact, the video games do work on the Coleco. Oh, really? Yeah, the arm games. Oh. I did it on the Harmony card as well. Rip it open, do it. Yeah. No, no, Tear no. Tear it apart no, with no, your no, teeth. No, no, no. So, beautiful packaging. <laughs> Cave Rescue, showed this the other day. It's such a nice box. The rocket ship going up yeah, the side with yeah, Cave yeah. Rescue. So, we've got the cartridge. It is in the style of Activision, actually. Mm -hmm. Those little uh, holders. So, let me... Um, I'll show you I'll show you on the close-up afterwards. Very cool. Facial... I was going, hmm, <laughs> when we were doing that. When we were taking the pictures, because I was sad. He was sad. And it comes with... He's bundled together somehow. Oh, no. This is the poster for Cave Rescue. Let's see if I can open this up. Oh, it, it's the instructions as well. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, nice. So. Oh, I like that. So you get the poster on one side. That's really nice. Let's get the shine off of it if I can. There we go. Yeah. Cave Rescue. Do you want our games homebrew? Yeah. Um, and on the other side, you have the instructions. Nice. And I've never seen that before. I so. like that a lot. That's really nice. So it's like two in one. You don't need to print the instructions separately. No, just one nice poster. That's yeah, really so you nice. can have the instructions like this like and open it up. Yeah. So let's show close-ups. Let's make sure there's... We're done? Yep, we're done. Okay. Let's see. Close-ups of the box. Uh, cat cam. Boom. So here is the cartridge. Very nice color. Here's the box. Ah. Vash con cielos. Vash con cielos in Portuguese. Vash con cielos. Vash con cielos. Cielos. Yeah, that sounds better. Thank you. M. Laziri. Vash con cielos. Oh, cat. He's coming after your, your cart here. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Pixel nice wants to play. Manual. He says, put it in. There you go. So thank you so much for sending this, and we're going to give it a go this. now. There you go. And if you want to give the cats a treat, it should be open to give them a treat. Unless I didn't uh, miss that. 
No, no one's uh. No one's got. No one's rung the bell yet, so that's okay. So it's in the uh, bits in the bottom left corner of your chat. Oh, it's treat time! Yay! Ding, 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 ding! Oh, actually, it's on the right camera. Perfect. Let's do some treats. Well, I plug in. There you go. The cartridge. Oh, ring the bell. Ring the bell. What are you doing, cat? <laughs> I'm too excited. You are. You're getting in, in into the cat into the treat territory. No, no, no! You have to. You have to do the bell. Ring the bell. Ring it. Ring it. Ring the, ring the bell once. Ring it. Oh my god, why are you looking at my hand? It's got nothing. Oh, try again. There you good go, kitty. good kitty. No Tanya treat voiceover. Yep, maybe maybe we'll do that with Tanya. <laughs> Pixel. Thank you, RC70. That's what the kitties say. Thank you, RC70. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Okay, it's time for the game. You guys can still see the cats in the... Yeah, in the cat can. Let's do it. Cave Rescue. Now, we have played this game before, so... Did you play it last time? Uh, Cave Rescue? I think so. There we go. Put the treats down. I'll treat the cats. You'll treat the cats? Careful. Yeah, I know. Good kitty! Good kitty! Oh, we missed the... Uh, Miss the instructions. No, it'll cycle through them, I'm, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> On a distant human colony. Aliens launched a surprise attack. They destroyed several cities, and the survivors took refuge in a large cave in the hope that something or someone will save them as soon as possible. Because more aliens are approaching, and they do not come in peace. Very nice. I helped, Very dramatic. I helped with that scroll. Did you? <laughs> the, the English uh, translation. Nice. Yep. So, the walls are deadly, so don't touch the walls. You have to rescue the people. Um, there are creatures sometimes that will come around. So, shoot the creatures if you want. But I would avoid them because it does use up your energy at the bottom. Don't shoot them if you can avoid them. I would go down to the left first. Because there's a guy down there. I don't get anything? No. Oh, is he there when I go back? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's, that's why a big play. waste. That's why I, w I told you, don't shoot them if you don't have to. I couldn't remember. Yay! Okay. I remember this now. In a faraway human colony called Sagan 202, aliens have made a surprise attack. They've destroyed many cities. And the survivors took... Yeah, we know this. Um, switch difficulty uh, between two game modes. Be easy. Yep, made it on easy. Good. And A hard. Um, your mission is to find and rescue six missing survivors that are hidden in the giant cave. To find them, you need to explore five different regions. Upon finding your first survivor, you'll have to take him to the mothership. Oh, you have to go back to the mothership. Oh, at the beginning? Yeah. Shoot. I yeah, I, I, I do recall that's that. That's what it said. Ugh. And you need to do the next, same for the next five survivors. So I think you get refueled. Yeah, I think you No right. diagonals? Uh, it'd be risky to do diagonals. I don't think there are. There you go. And you get refilled. That's why you want to go back. The individual spaceship only supports one crew member per time, so it's reasonable to get back to the mothership every time you find a crew member. Every time you restart the game, the survivors will be disposed in random locations. There are diagonals. I saw it in a video this morning. Nope. <laughs> so, three lives left. That's okay. No diagonals. It really... I mean, maybe you can, but uh, definitely it's it easy. It's tricky. So you could do diagonals here, but... Yeah. Mm. While on the mission, be careful of three things. Your fuel, which is at the bottom there. Uh, walls and the enemies. Uh, they pulled it off somehow. Yeah. 
Some Atari Lynx games have the poster instructions. Many did not. I think it was near the beginning of the Lynx days. Oh, cool. Should add a bell emote to go with the cat emotes. Oh, I don't know how many emotes I'm able to have. This guy, yeah, He's you probably want to shoot him because he doesn't give you much time. Uh, every time you... That was a waste. <sighs> Guess I should have paid attention. did that, yeah. Well, it's hard. I don't know how to get this guy. Shoot him there. Shoot him there. Uh. And you can't do shoot, 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 shoot. It takes a bit to re... To re oh, oh my god, you no, just ran I right just into the wall. tried to go across to this. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Dead. Let's go uh, in case your ship is ruined and you yep. get extra lives, the spaceship will reappear at the beginning of the game or in the last activated checkpoint with minus one extra life. Game mode. So to select a different game mode, you must set up a key on uh, difficulty left on B, easy, or A on hard. Easy mode. There are extra lives, two checkpoints. At the beginning of the enemies move slowly, oh, and there are barriers there. to... to I want to start over. Sure. Rage reset. Tanya does rage reset. So I think. Just a waste of lives. That's yeah. all. You haven't really gone very far. No. So you're on planet Dracon, I believe, is the first one. Yep. Yeah. Humid, covered with moss, is the result of an experiment that sought expansion of the locals' veg vegetation. You were kind of going diagonally there. I was. A diagonal. Could, ramming it... speed. Ramming speed. <laughs> so they kind of give you this guy. Yeah. Uh, hard mode, no extra lives, one checkpoint. The enemies are fast and there aren't any barriers, which makes the game harder. Barriers, no barriers makes the game harder? Interesting. So there are blockers, chasers, and teleporters. I think that was a blocker. I think you're right. Blockers, it's a passive alien species, which intention isn't to harm, but block your way through the game. Uh, chaser. It is a blind species, but highly aggressive. It attacks ferociously if it notices the presence of an enemy. Teleporter. The most intelligent one. It can teleport. Like your spaceship, it looks for survivors, but to kill them. Um, creation and programming. Nathan Vasconcelos. Final art. Luis Fernandos. Uh, Luis Fernando S. Nascimento. Dis distribution, ERA Games Homebrew. Thanks to Leandro Camara. Uh, ya, ya, uh, yo, 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 Calbi, uh, Darcio Prestes, Prestes, and James O'Brien. I can pronounce that one. Thank you so much for including me in the credits. It's so nice of them. I've moved diagonally, but no diagonal shape. Oh. So it just picks one of the directions, it, too. It does, yeah. I love these kind of barriers. Very VHZC. Oh, you've completed the first level. Well, no, I, they're just different Oh, different regions. areas. Neokos, the most beautiful of all region, is composed of purple crystals that have a high value in any part of the planet. Okay. So you have to explore five different regions to find the six survivors. I'm really far. Oh, nothing. Yeah, so there is a danger of running out of fuel. <gasps> okay, he comes after you. <laughs> he, Some guy. He's blind, but you. can sense you. He can sense you. If you get close. What was that, Emmy? That was a... Be so careful this poster. Uh, chaser. It is a blind species, but highly aggressive. It attacks ferociously if it notices the presence of an enemy. So it's got the two big bleh at the corners. So the one that moves constantly it doesn't know you're there. It, it goes back and forth. You just have to avoid it or shoot it. But the ones that stand still, oh. that's that's a checkpoint. checkpoint. So you don't have to... Uh... <laughs> nope, not open. So it doesn't put you all all the way. That guy, he will chase you if you get close. You have to shoot that guy. Yeah, that's what the other, that's what killed me last. So time. this is Redor, extremely hot with magma magma running down its walls. Its average temperature is eighty degrees centigrade. Ah, that sounds hot. It's 
So now you have to go all the way back to the ship. Uh, the ship or the checkpoint? Um, try the checkpoint. I think you can get pretty close to him. Oh, okay, that's close. To the wall. <laughs> try the checkpoint. Maybe you can. I thought you the checkpoint was... But maybe not. Um... No. no. Doesn't say that. Uh, yeah. That's just... If you die, you end up back there, I guess. Yep. Go from the left. I think I came from the Holy top. shit, that made me jump. <laughs> 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 when you got attacked. Yeah. yeah. It's a maze game, so not my favorite genre. Because <laughs> I'm terrible at memorization. So it's good that you're playing. You have to remember the route back. Yeah. I mean, it's always the same map, so theoretically you could draw a map, which I sh should actually do. Yeah, it's not that no? necessary. It's not that I big? I think so. We played it before. It wasn't too hard to remember where to go. It was more about Having the different fuel, green regions right? helps. Yeah. So it's always down. And always over. And I don't think you get refueled with the flag. I think you get something, but I don't... A second time, I mean? Oh, I don't know about a second time. So you might want to, like, save it, right? Might be a tactic. Oh, that was almost death there. <laughs> yep. Might be a good tactic to save that flag and not touch it. That's where you respawn when you die. If you die, right? But yeah. if you're not prone to dying and rather running out mm -hmm. of fuel, I would I think know. saving it would be a better tactic. I don't know. So which oh, you way move diagonally there. Yeah, you can. You can. It's, it's just dangerous. Yeah, okay. So you've been left? I've that been doesn't... right. Uh, I, I was left before, but I think that something chased me down. Oh, you have to shoot that guy. Yeah. I, it's going to, he doesn't see you close. on this side. He sees you from the oh. bottom, I think. I don't remember, I did. The cartridge in the cat camp. I think I've been this way. Uh, yeah. Oh! oh. Run right into the wall. What? Still got two lives. I love the dead. Dead. They're like we've, dead. we've dead. got we've got the letters. We'll do we'll do dead. <laughs> Kitties. Like so. Come on. I think you got past him by going towards the bottom last time. That's why I asked what it was because it didn't seem to do anything. Yeah, oh. I did get past him. That's why. You do get fuel back. Oh, do you? Yes, you do. Oh, nice. When you touch the flag. Mm -hmm. See, when they're moving, they're safe. They're not going to go after you. That guy goes after you. You'll not get. You won't get past him. Yeah, I think you're right. Without shooting him. Up. Uh, well, take a look. Oh, that guy teleports. Oh, into different positions. You scared me when you said that. I was like, ah. Well, down's safer right now because that guy is annoying, so I might as well try down first. Hi. Hi. So. Oh, that's a dead end over there, so you don't need to go there. Pixel. Very fluffy. This is Pixel the cat. Oh, he's being so cute. Oh, you're cuddly. He's very happy when he gets treats. Nothing. Oh, no. Well, that was a waste. So you do have to go up, which... It's more obvious that you have to go up because there's a guy there, and down is too easy. But don't go down that left side. No, useless. But to the left might be. I think you could get by him. Oh, not oh. there! When he's on the left-hand side! <laughs> he wasn't You thinking. have two seconds on that side! <laughs> oh, no. Which way did I go? I went right. I think. I was not thinking. RC70 posted a little pixel cat. Yeah. That's right. Now, he has a pattern, I think. Or not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Duh. Duh. 
<laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it's so sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I'm hitting it very much, You're but it's, it's, I'm panicking and it's just going right into walls. <laughs> <laughs> Panic cat. Panic cat is right. Scramble. Ah! It is quite a sensitive joystick. It, and you move very quick in the game, which is good and also troublesome. Go. There you go. Diagonal equals death. Yeah, pretty, basically. It's because I think he moves very fast diagonally. Okay, down is nothing. Left. I know it's left. I'm going to try. Oh, no, You're fine. Out. You got room. Just go down a little bit. Go all the way over. Oh, my God. Dead end. Nothing. There's nothing down. Nothing to the left. So it's pointless to go in this area. You got around this from a different direction. Mm -hmm. You got to that spot from going that way instead of going there and up. So that's good. Oh. Oh. Uh, this would be a good game to map out, I think. Yeah, because you're like, well, there's nothing there. But I think, if I recall... <laughs> so panicky. Not that panicky. This is just here, yeah. Okay, there's nothing there. So that was, that's a ginormous waste of time. So he shoot. will chase you. Ugh. Uh, yeah, I would go there. No, you can get him. You can get him. He's no. on the edge. You just have to position yourself right. There. There you go. Oh, you're running out of fuel. Better play with his CX-40 joystick. Nothing's better play with the CX-40 joystick. Wrist pain. Oh, my God. <laughs> so... Who likes CX-40 joysticks better than any other joystick? Oh, is that locked <gasps> forever? Is that dead ended? Are there actual people who like CX-40 joysticks? Oh, you're gonna die. I am gonna die. Here we go. I think CX-40 joysticks next. are, like, the worst. I'm not gonna make it back. No. It's too far to go. I can feel the pain just looking at one. Me too. Oh, they do disappear. Dead. Dead. You still have lives. Or is those no, people you rescued? No, those are the people I rescued. Your turn. I don't know if we completed this game. <sighs> Dying of Make resets uh, the button. We, we, we might have. I don't think so. We got pretty far. We got yeah. quite a few of them, if I'm not. Oh, Packrat doesn't. Oh, you're unscrewing this. Yeah. I don't mind the CX-40 at all. Re works really good for some games. For, I can see it working for, like, yeah. games... Cramp in a can. <laughs> Cramp in a can. Yep. Oh, somebody... Oh, what? Hmm? Did something. Uh, proc. Proc fee. Procful? Procful? Thank you for following Procful. Glad you're enjoying the show. Mm -hmm. Um, They have very short throws. Yeah. CX-40s. Um, so they're good for games that you need to... Precise? Because this has a bit of a longer quick. a longer throw. Yeah, some people may not like joysticks that have longer throws. Um, so for Twitch games, yeah. it's possible that the CX-40s would be good, but they're so stiff. Oh, are, are they? They feel stiff because of the short throw. Help me with a second dude. I don't think was there anything up? I don't yeah, think there, so. Yeah, there was something in a corner, but I don't remember. This guy's hard. Not impossible, but hard. No. Mm, there's nothing up here. I know. I didn't think there was. Oh my god. To be very precise. Uh, there are many ways you can handle the CX-40. Some of them are better for some games, but not for others. Yeah. yeah. I use the type with the button on top of the controller stick. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. got a couple of those. Mm -hmm. Like a ball? The, the ball top ones? There is one. There's a guy in the red, right? Uh, I don't. Not there. No. I don't want to get that. No, no, actually. get it. Get no, it. It comes back. It comes back. After you die... You died and it came back. Oh, 
You haven't hit it yet? I don't want to hit it. I want it for fuel when I'm, when I'm low. Yeah. Yeah, there's one in the red, and then the, the yellow side door opens. You have to get another guy before that side door opens. Oh, really? Yeah, I believe so. Maybe he's down here. Yeah, I think he might be. Have you got this guy before? Yay! Woo. I think you did get this guy, but yeah. didn't have yeah. enough fuel. No, no, I got this guy. Got this guy, yep. but the other guy, I didn't have enough fuel to bring back. So, there is another one, but watch it, he will attack you. Yep. Okay, now you gotta get back. You are running out of the fuel fuels. Hi, cat! Who's the cutest? Is it you? I think it's you. Yeah. You fluffy? Man. Are you fluffy? You want more, you want more treats, eh? You uh -huh. gotta ask them for treats. Yeah, we don't give you the yeah, treats. Yeah, and anymore. you only get them once an hour. <laughs> Ma'am! No, you can't have the whole bag. <gasps> no! <laughs> See? Oh, it's damn it! Easier than you think oh. it is. <laughs> that was so dumb. Are there multiple maps and or positions for the people you're rescuing? Oh, no, Jesus. I think. But there, there seems to be an order. There seem to be doors that open after you get a certain person, then yeah. another door opens. So there seems to be a, um, a sequence shift. that you have to get them in, yeah. or some of them, I guess. Yeah. Um, but they seem to be in the same place. No. I know. <laughs> it hurts. I want to start over. It hurts, kitten. Yes. Rage reset. We're not quite there yet, <laughs> but soon. So that, does that guy die? Or, or is he goes no, back? No, he comes back when okay. you come back. You need you need enough fuel to... No, he's dead. He's gone. Where no, but he, he comes back when you go back. That's where he was, though. That's huh? where he was supposed to be, right there. What? No. Really? I think so. Maybe. Oh. Oh, well, maybe you're right. So that means you can only get... I can only get... What? A certain number of guys rescued. Really? So he's dead. He's gone for good. Like, well, I guess that makes sense. It's it does. From a logical point of view. Mm -hmm. Nothing. You have one in the ship. Oh, I still have them in the ship? No, I don't think so, because you restart at I, the ship. I started at the ship. Yeah, I don't think so. Shoot this guy. Yeah, you'll die in the next screen. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. It, yeah, I don't think, I, I think you lose it if you die. You lose the guy. It's yeah. total rescue then. Total rescue. Yeah. I, get, I guess if you pick up the guy, it'll open the door to the next area. Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. I mean, you could, yeah, but you, you do have to drop them off. Hi. One. The easy one. The easy one. Now we go to the lava world. We go get Mr. Lava and not run into walls. Not die on the wall. Yeah, you do have to remember how to get back. <laughs> Yep. That's a key to this game. And then it's down again. Yep. And then it's down again. Yeah. And you have to have enough fuel to get back, too. So you sort of need to know where to go. Well, he wasn't here. No, he was the next one? I don't know. Maybe he was further along. I don't remember now. Maybe he's one more screen over Maybe he maybe he does change. Maybe only the first guy's in the same place. Maybe. You're just angry. Now. I turned, yeah. and my my 
my uh, wing horizontal it. wing is yeah. not in the same position as my vertical wing. So you have to leave a lot of room for your ship. Spaceman's Blorf. <laughs> yes. Good game. Maybe you have to hit the flag area first. Maybe you have to go from that side. Because last time you... So go go straight through to yeah. the other. Because I think it's faster to get back on that side. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't going there. I was going down and across. Ah. So you were just at the wrong side. It's just being silly. Yeah. You can diagonal it's it. It's dangerous. You can move really quick. And it's hard to get it precise and not go Yay. up or left. That's two out of six. <laughs> I have a feeling they appear in places too. If I'm not mistaken, like some of the rooms that are empty, they can re they can appear right. in once you... Because you get them in a certain order. Should I go up here? I can't remember. Where did I find my third guy? Was it a blue area? I think it was over to the, to, I, I don't think it's where you are. It's back to where the um, flag is. You might need to hit the flag. Uh, um, I'm full. I just. Oh, did you? He's easier to shoot. But, um, so if you, it, it's, uh, go back to where the flag was. Yep. Did you, maybe you already passed that? Nope. Okay. So to the right. Oof. Yeah, I think the flag's over here. And then to the right, because that was closed before. You're not getting the flag? No, I'm full. Oh, on it's your way back. It's such a waste. It's on such your way a back, waste. yeah. And was he up or down? I think he was up. Maybe down. That's true. I think, I think he was down. down. Yeah. I think he was down. Nope. Okay. <gasps> Those guys are terrifying when they go after you. It wasn't here. That was... Oh, there. there. Yeah, there he was. Okay. I knew he, was, he wasn't too far. Now I am going to get the flag because I may not make it back. And that should refill me. To use the flag strategically. Mm -hmm. Enemies are changing. Yeah. That guy goes right after you. After How you. are you supposed to do this? Run. Just be really, really close to the bottom? Run. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, cross. that's right. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. They get they get harder. I'm going to be able to do this? Uh, you might be able to. Yep. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's faster. Is it? Yep. Oh, yeah, it is. So, probably up now? Cause, no, no, I don't think so. Whoa, I should have that been was, the that other was, way. Try down. Try, um, I think it's... No, okay. Oh, that reset. It Great. does, yeah. So Good. keep it. Um, th so if you go down, there is a blue area with a door. I wonder if that's free now. Ugh. Hi. Okay. You being a bad cat? <laughs> yeah? I'm a proud bad cat. Nope, still blocked. Uh, so that is not where you need... Yeah. Unless you can shoot the door. Yeah. So the guy was over there. No. Yeah, that was the guy. I, think I, I don't know where I have to go. Well, maybe up. Try up now. Because yeah. I don't think there was anything there before, but maybe there is now. Oh my god, that's close. 
He's dead. I haven't been here. I have to get that flag. The flag? No, it's, it's down. Real. It's not there. Oh. It's it? right back down here. Yeah. We should be able to dodge the rest. Just. Thing got fast. Yes, it did. <laughs> Very fast. Yeah, they get pretty scary. So, can I go into the left? <gasps> yeah, he re he appeared there. He wasn't there when I was there before. No? Nope. So, uh, yeah, they do appear. I wonder if the blue is open now. <laughs> I know. Frightening. Uh, no. No. You want to go down? Yeah, to shoot that dude. Yeah. Fuel usage based on movement, time, or both. You definitely lose fuel every room you go into. Really? Oh, you do. You do. So Every time go back you cross a room, Is and when up? you shoot. Or left? Uh, left, I think. I think it's left. No. No, no, it is left. Is no, no, it's up. It's up. Sorry. Oh my god, I just Go wasted right. so Go. much fuel. <laughs> it is up. I'm so sorry. Oh my I, god. Because that guy wasn't there before, but he's there. Yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> I apologize. It's okay. It's... I'm like, no, no, it is. It is. Now You're going left. the right way. Yep. I am going to make it. You, so. you have to go back up, but yes. You're very close. Can, shoot, oh, can you shoot him? I don't need to. Oh, I don't know. He's going to go up. No, you have to be really close to him. Do you? Yeah. Oh, four. Woo! Oh. One, yeah, one at a time. One at a time. Now, theoretically, they could be anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. Oh. Uh, try the blue area, though, because that hasn't been opened yet. That guy. Yeah. They look, they're so terrifying. Oh, oh no! You have a lot of lives though. That's good. I guess you built them up. I guess so. It looks like you or three, or maybe, maybe when you, I don't know, maybe you get extra. Just take your time. Deep breaths. It's only if you're shooting and going through rooms you really seem to lose. Yeah. A lot. Shooting uses up a lot. So down again, right? Yeah. The blue area, I think. Over and down. Yeah. There he is. Oh, so you have to get over to that side. Thank God, I can see him. <gasps> it's open. So he's two up from this side. Two flags. Oh, maybe. Oh, you don't need it yet. Oh. Okay. So middle. up one more or is it up I think it's over yeah Ooh, I see a red or and I want to paint it black yeah. <laughs> Oops. can I get it yeah might as well it resets it does so. and I still have the other one so. yeah Uh, is it over? You're okay. It's up. And then to the left. Must fight urge to make maps. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> It'd be so good. And is it up? It's left. Uh, it's up. It's up. Yeah. You're right, it is. I swear I'm having deja vu and I said the same thing last time we played this well you too. said left last time no 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 i mean like the last time we actually played the game oh maybe like, like no no it's left no it's up no it's left i don't know if i ever made it this far yes time. you did we did yeah yeah i'm positive we <sighs> yeah oh, i don't shoot him are you sure yeah. he's scary 
Maybe they get more dangerous as time goes on, but... Maybe. Ooh, five! Try to the right, just in case he's right right there. That would be quite ironic. No. Okay. Waste. It would be. Mm. Last. Oh, I got an extra leg. Mm -hmm. Last guy. That would be anticlimactic. <laughs> just die? Or, oh, yeah, well, yeah. If you oh, just to be died. there? Oh, the guy be there, yeah. Yeah. That would be. Be funny, though. I mean, there was a lot more on that blue side, too, so it's kind of hard to say. There were two flags, though, which is good. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing... It's on the blue. It's further and further every time. Yeah. Deeper into the maze, the yeah. same path you go. Yeah, so there's blue. So I didn't go all the way to the end. So you could try down? Yeah, because we haven't been there. Um, I bet he's on the right. Yep. Nope. Good. Those are dead ends. This uh, is brand middles. new area for sure, he's yeah. got to be here. So tight. And you didn't hit the flag. Oh my god. There better be a flag. Nope, dead end. That other side's a dead end. Bet you have to go up and down and around. Should have gotten a flag. Well, now I know I should have. But... Oh my <gasps> God. Can you back at the beginning? Yes. yes. Of course, because I didn't touch a flag. Yeah, I would, I'm going I would, to touch a flag I would touch this time. One the second flag. Ones. Yeah. What is happening? I'll be chasing a fly. I'm sorry, spaceship. The last human is in another castle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it appears Pretty to be. Yeah, I think that's probably a smart idea to get the later flag. Yep. Um, let's see, we'll save that flag for the flight home. Okay. And it's this size. The left side was the best, I think. Yep, because I don't have to deal with that, dude. Isn't any good, right? No. So up. Yeah, nice and clear. Good. Close, I know. Well, I'm gonna go the right first. Nothing. That's where I was, right? I think you were there, yeah. Was I? Were you? Look, look again. No, no, I haven't been here. No. No. Try. I don't know. I'm gonna go up. Down would probably give you, get you to an area you've already been. I don't know. I don't think so. No. Kind of want to get into the corner. I think. Yeah. No, I was. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. They're both dead ends. Good job. <laughs> Good job, programmers. <laughs> Don't go. Oh, What's on the other side? Die. I think it's an easy way out. I hope so. That would be nice. Flag. 
Maybe. Might be a way, a back door. Or a flag. Going this way, this might be a, a secret or exit. Or a dead end. <laughs> You Sorry, bastards. Yeah, it's okay. Well, we'll get I'm you there. I'm in trouble. This you is think? not good. Yeah. I can't shoot this guy. I have to go like this. I don't have the energy. Okay. I need that flag really badly. It was down. No, was it? those are both oh. dead ends. It was down. That was to the right, for sure. Yeah, you're you're okay. <gasps> it blocked you in? No, it didn't. It um, did. No. That was a blocked in door. No, it was a moving door, and I just happened to hit it because oh, it's right no. up against me. But I'm pretty close to where I was ish. Yeah. Because I had you know where it is, assuming the guy's still there and not gone. No, he's there. We were just going the wrong place. Oh, last time, yeah. yeah. So we won't have to go to a bunch of dead ends. Oh, God. Yeah, just remember that. You literally just want to go over a teeny tiny bit. And then that is up to the left, right? Yeah. of a cat come back here just a tail of a cat this is the tail of a cat i don't want to use my energy no. that guy if i don't have to zbh the cure for low blood pressure <laughs> <sighs> oh, yeah god yeah is he on board no i've gone past where, did, where, where he did, was where was he like around here right there or where here. No, he was in the dead end, was he? Okay. Well, this is the way I backtracked. So, I have him on board. That was the way out. Was he here? Was he down? What's down? I must have him What's on board. What's down? What's down? Was it to the left there? Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. He, he was, was in that, in that dip. dip. Yes, okay. So, he got moved. Because that's what I was saying. I think they got moved. They get moved. They move? No. Yeah, you're dead, dead. Well, you got five. Five out of six. I'll leave it up to the uh, viewer to play the game to the full. <laughs> I won't spoil the whole the, thing. The sixth. You know, the sixth. Man. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, very challenging. Uh, fun game. Oh, it's really good. Um, retrieving. Mm -hmm. And the mazes aren't as bad as I thought. No. Like, because of the colors... Yeah, and yeah. And the variety, you kind of memorize a little bit. The past, mm -hmm. there's flags to give you an idea. Yep. Where you are. And in to it. help you along that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, there you go. If you guys want to get your own copy. Um, K okay, Rescue ERA Games Homebrew. You can email them at ERA Games Homebrew at Outlook .com or just go to their Facebook page and read it. Um, the first run that they made of 50 copies sold out in three minutes. Yeah. Very fast. Yeah. And then they sold out, uh, and that was on November 23rd. Hey, don't mess with the cover. Um, uh, went for sale November 23rd, and then on March 18th, they sold out of their second run, which wow. I, they didn't really say, That's but good. I think it was around 100 copies. Wow, good, good, good. Um, and they posted today the first English copy of the game for the Atari 2600, developed by the game creator Nathaniel Vascol. Consuelos, Consuelos, Consuelos has arrived in Canada and will participate in a special program at zero, Concilos. Concilos. at zero Page Homebrew. We we'll appreciate all the support provided by friend James Earl O'Brien and the staff of Cats. <laughs> the staff. Uh, the cat thank staff. you so much, Gratitude. Hey, Staff Cats. Staff Cats. Staff Cats. So, and look very intense. Yeah, some of them are really tight mazes. <laughs> Here's the um, staff. The staff is coming for their. It's a very good game. Yeah, I I did praise. enjoy that game oh. quite a bit. Yes, yes, staff. 
Yes. Staff cat. Staff cat. What position does he have? Supervisor. He's he. We basically do. We do call mm-hmm. him the foreman. Yeah, foreman cat. Yeah. He does supervise. He does a lot of supervision and not a lot of work. Staff so. cats. The humans are the staff. Cats. <laughs> That's <laughs> yes. true. That is true. They're the hosts, and yeah. we're the staff. He likes to watch us when we cook. He <laughs> just sits on the counter and watches us. Like mm, that. No, I don't think you chop that very well. Is it time for cats treats. Oh, fifteen oh, minutes still. Not quite. Not quite yet. Treat time. Um, So the next game we're going to be playing is X versus O by Chris Reed. Nice. Atari 2600 Land. He is probably the most prolific programmer for the 2600. Okay. He makes like a game every month. Oh, nice. They're all about like 2 to 4K. They're all simple, uh, simple games that have like one concept. And he likes to, I think he likes working on concepts and, Mm -hmm. and, and just concentrating on that and then moving on to the next one. Uh, someone said cats used to be worshipped as gods, and they haven't forgotten. No, us. yeah, I agree with that, Stephen. Oh yeah, <laughs> they definitely have not forgotten. No, they gods. Oh, gods they had on earth. Statues. Oh yes. To them. Yes. Um, they know their place. Their place is worshipped. Um, so this is first post- posted April second. 2021 this build is from august 22nd 2021 it's a two, 2k game you can download this in the forums he said this is a thread where i will post updates to the game i'm working on on called x versus o the object of the game is to guide the x to the o and press fire okay. you'll get a point and then another o will appear on the screen <laughs> there's no way to die yet this is old okay no way yeah. to die yet but i will add the letter l he actually added an mm-hmm. i uh, and if you touch it, you'll die. So basically, it's like my fly swatting game for the Game Boy. Nice. Um, so you can go for it. So avoid the eye. Get the O. Press a button on it. There you go. Now you can't. He used to have it so you hold the button, but that doesn't work anymore. You have to press it when you're on top. Of ah! It, on yeah, top I got of the me. Eye. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Yep. Ah! 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 Run from the eye. I love. I love the eye. The O runs around too. Ah, yeah, the O ah. is very dodgy. Um, and August 15th, he said, I decided to work some more on this. If you keep pressing the button after half a second, it won't work and you won't catch the O and get a point. I also redid the end game screen. Uh, I made it so the O comes out in a random X position instead of extreme right or left. Ah. And now it's na- time to play name that tune. Guess what the tune is on the title screen. What is that? Oh, I know the song. Do, 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 for release. No. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. No. No, for at least. It's um, Midnight Sonata. Sonata, yeah. Um, it's only the first four bars. I didn't want to go crazy. <laughs> I think I'll have to make this a 4K game still, though. It's actually a 2K. He, he was able to scrunch it down to two. With a title screen and music and a game, which is amazing for a 2K game. Um, in August 22nd, change the i now changes around the x around the screen as he tries to get the o it's something i can't quite put my finger on that is making this be a really fun game perhaps you can give me feedback on what i should do i really like the i i like how the i kind of gets gets <laughs> if it goes in a straight line it like marches towards you oh does it go yeah like see oh, it does that's funny i i think that there's something so charming about that and the o bounces around too I like how the O bounces around. The O does move. Quite erratically. It like does. it does have a mind of its own. Yeah, which is which is great. Like it's trying to evade you sometimes, it's trying to hide behind the eyes. Sometimes. It's like trying to hide in the corner. Yeah. Oof, that Ooh, eye. That was very close. Nose hair, but less gross. Very, very similar. Ah. Ah. It's, it has it's, a it's... little bit one less thing than nose hair. He's Whoa, gonna get me. that was one pixel away. I know. I don't think he can get you when you're on the margins. Yeah. Not easily. Oh, he doesn't go down all the way. He doesn't no. go down all the way. So you're kind of safe. Sort of. What's going on? Navine. Yes, Moonlight. What was it? Bonanza. <laughs> Moonlight Bonanza. Ah. Oh, you're going to die. Get out of there. <laughs> so close. That eye. Look at that eye. Look, he gets really excited. It <laughs> starts going straight for you. He does. <laughs> it's so creepy. I then think I think that's a 
a function he goes too low and then he goes too high and he has to correct himself I, every I think time. it's so great yeah seems like a five-year-old having fun running away but actually wants to be caught yes that's exactly it <laughs> oh the o yeah that's true it's like ah you can't get me i i'm i want to play with my toys still you won't make me go to bed they like being chased i do kids like being chased they'll scream and run away <laughs> yeah oh that was a good one but yeah i mean i suggested that it, the eye get a little faster it's a over time yeah um just to make it or harder. or the o runs away a bit more yes it's like the both. speed of the eye is is really good the, the but o i feel like too. the o needs to get harder to catch or something right more erratic yeah more more running in one direction than running like, in another yeah like it's the um the walls could close in Oh yeah, so you're making your it a smaller area play smaller. Field. Yeah, that would be a good. Yeah, like combine all these things: the eye getting a little bit faster, the O. Where did he stop? <laughs> the O does sometimes stop. Um, the O getting faster and the walls closing in, because that would definitely make it harder, um, less play field to work with. Maybe some simple mazes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you have to so avoid a walls. line in the middle. So yeah. you have to go around the wall. Or, or you way. have to go around the wall, but the eye doesn't have to. And the O doesn't have to either. The O can go through the wall. That would be. Yeah. Ah. That would make it a lot harder. And like have like three or four different mazes where there's like walls all over the place. That would make it harder. I don't, you would definitely have to make it a 4K game at that point, I think. It just wouldn't be enough room. What was his intentions with the black area on top? I'm not sure. It's just There's decoration. a hidden area in the bottom and the top. And, and Yeah, I can't go there, but you can. I don't know if it's supposed to look 3D-ish. Like the first bottom wall is like a wall, an actual wall. And maybe, you hide behind it. Maybe it's just nice to have a spot of reprieve from the eye. Like you can kind of get away from the eye. Possibly. But he can get you, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you stick up enough that he can get you. The o, o could also fade in and out every so often. Oh, teleport? Yeah, when you get close, you could, like, get faster or something when you get close. Yeah. Assuming the X and O are players, which they are, and uh, the I is a ball, which it is, because you can see the yellow on the side is play field for sure. Mm. Um, and the I doesn't go above or below the yellow, because he would turn red, because the red is the play field on the bottom. That's why. Um, maybe another pair of eyes can be done with missiles. Possibly with different behaviors as the inherent player colors. That's true. You could have two missiles as well. Um, I don't know if he programs in Batari Basic. I don't know if there's enough time to have a ball, two players, and two missiles at once. But I'm sure there is. I yeah, you this, could add more things. I love this opening screen. Mm -hmm. It's great. Looks like it's moving. so colorful. It does. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love yeah. that effect. It's but really cool. uh, very fun and some very good suggestions from uh, the chat mm -hmm. to um, play. Make, add some more stuff to the play. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Time. Mm -hmm. uh, no, you've you played it. Yeah. Yeah. I hit 94 and I'm like, eh. <laughs> it's just, it just, yeah. It, it, does. it doesn't get harder. No, it doesn't get harder. I like that though. I like the eye. Cute. It feels like a marching soldier coming like to get Sesame you. A Sesame Street game or something. <laughs> the eyes coming up the street for you. Oh, the eye. A yeah. fuzzy eye. <laughs> Andy Cat. Relaxing music. Yes. Do, do, do. I am not looking injured. I am fully recovered. I don't know if you guys can see. Where is it? Right there. Yeah. The little dot. Are they able to see it? Uh, I'll go to the cat turned, cam. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to show his injury. He's Don't not too injured. It. He's not too injured. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it a little bit there. That's right. Just a black spot. Right there. Yeah. Just smacked himself really hard. And there was a lot of blood. And I'm noticing there's so still blood much stains blood. on the carpet. So Yeah, they weren't completely cleaned uh, out. You didn't quite get them. Oh, well. uh, like an enormous amount of blood. It is but a flesh. It's the most I've ever bled in my life. <laughs> for sure. It's, it was out of control. Uh, uh, so. That much blood. Yeah. Head wounds, man. 
just Brutal. crazy. They bleed a lot. How did you do that again? Smack. There's there's cabinets above this screen we're looking at here. You can't really see it, but no, oh, that took a chunk out of him. So that pointy edge there. Yeah, right here. I stood up. This is metal right here, and I stood up hard and just smacked it. Smacked my head into it. Yeah. Yep. Not a fun time. Nope. And the cats were like, what's going on? Oh, did I not switch it to the... Oh, they would have seen it in the corner. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was big enough, I yeah. guess. Um, so next we're going to play the final updated binary of Soul of the Beast, which is a port of a 1989 Amiga game oh. called Shadow of the Beast. Uh, we're going to take a look at... Um, the original game. So, uh, Shadow of the Beast is a platform game developed by. Oh, that's not very loud. Let me turn up a little bit. Um, developed by Reflections and published by Signosis in 1989. The original version was released for the Amiga and was later ported, ported to many other systems. The game was known for its graphics, which look amazing for. Um, uh, pixel graphics mm. um, with many colors on the screen and up to 12 levels of parallax scrolling backdrops and for its atf atmospheric score composed by Dave Whitaker that used high quality instrument samples mm. so there's an above ground and then he goes into the um, underground area um, so it was it's a fairly simplistic game though it looks amazing mm. But basically, you run, and you just punch. Punch. That's your only weapon is a punch. And things come at you, and you just punch them. <laughs> um, but the graphics and music are astounding. Yeah, it does look really good. It is. There is something about that movement that just screams what, like, 80s, 90s video <laughs> gaming. Like stiff, yeah. early movement. Early movement. Uh, is the poster child for style over substance. Yeah. Which is a shame with the obvious talent attached Well, to everything it. starts somewhere, right? Like, yeah. uh, this 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 style of game just became... It, it seems like a prolific, game really. where... All the punching games, all the, all the arcade-style games follow yeah. this kind of... Uh, where a demo maker decided to make a game but had no idea what to do with the gameplay. Mm. But made it look astoundingly beautiful. And... And um, quite complex mm. looking, but just didn't have a game in mind. It's just like, oh, there's a guy, he runs around mm. and punches. And that's it. That's mm -hmm. the whole game. Um, and you punch up a gra above ground and below ground. But it's it's really nice looking. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take a look at the 2600 port have of we it. we played this before? We have, uh, yeah. about a year ago. Okay, it, 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 I definitely recall. So this is made by uh, Michael Christofferson, uh, Aeroform, uh, known on the Atari Age forums as uh, PVMkin. I don't know if that's a nod to PVMs. He's he in the in, chat. He is in the he chat, in the I chat. did see him. Yeah. Has he talked recently? Uh, I remember him talking a lot earlier. Not that long ago, yes, he's yeah. definitely okay, still here. Good. Go for it. So this, this is actually a 4K game, which is quite nice. quite good. Um, not sure what that is on the top left. Maybe it's his symbol. Yeah, you can't start it with the button. <laughs> not couch compliant. <laughs> couch compliant. But this is uh, really oh, nice looking. Wow, look at this. You have the beautiful sky, the shading. There is parallax scrolling because there's a little thing moving across the sky. That's how much hit points you have. Okay. Now beware. Things come on the screen like that. So you have to stop moving and punch, 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 punch. There you go. So you move for a bit, and then something comes. You move for a bit, something comes. So you can download this uh, from the Atari forums. Um, he said, hi, everyone, on May 29th. I'm happy to say my first Atari 2600 game, Soul of the Beast, um, oh. inspired by the 1989 Amiga Classic, is done. It features more than 15 unique enemy types, variants, and items. Non-linear level design in a standard 4K NTSC ROM. You have to just go over them when they're done. Ah. When it's below ah. 
I think that comes in threes or maybe fours. There you go. Oh, that took a bunch out of me. Yep, there's potions. Just like in the original game, there's enemies that just kind of stand there. You go, hmm? <laughs> Until you go up to them and punch them. Um, I'm hoping to move forward with a cart release and a PAL version. I really like the... Um, Clouds are beautiful. Uh, the numbering at the top with the colors. Yes. And this... that seven and like the font. Yeah. Oh, it looks so Nostalgia. good. Nostalgia. Nostalgic says nice running animation. Yeah, it's really good. The bobbing head and lots of frames. You go over it when it's below ground. Yeah, but I didn't get hit. You did? Yeah. No. No? No. no. Ah. Okay, it's going to come again. Punch, punch. Oh, done. Done? Yeah. Uh, four massive areas, 14 unique enemy types and variants, non-linear exploration, puzzles and secrets, uh, parallax in quotes, scrolling. I mean, it's hard to say because the clouds move with the ground. There's something in the sky that has movement of parallaxes. Seems to have disappeared, though. Um, start game P1 difficulty set to expert with 16 life. Hmm. Uh, runs on physical Atari 2600 NTSC systems. Uh, standard 4K NTSC written in 6502 assembly. Uh, controls. I think you have to move past them, maybe. There you go. Oh, you got hit. Oh, you got a power-up. Oh, I think you have to duck that, too. Oh. Um, no, maybe yes. Yes. Well, that was what was breathing fire. Clearly. Do I have to kill it, though? Uh, don't think you can punch that high. Uh, controls. Left, right to move player, down to crouch, space to punch, up to enter doors. Uh, reset ah. to, to begin game. Uh, developed by Michael Christofferson, a.k.a. Flame PVMkin. Cover art by Helvetica Blank. Beast logo by Rutherford Craze. I think there's a screen shake when you punch an enemy. Oh, is there? I'll have to watch for it. Sounds like good to get rid of. If there is. Oh, there is a screen shake. I don't know if that's on purpose. Down to four. No. Some enemies keep moving. Some enemies stop when you get approached to them. I, and it's exactly the same on the Amiga. I was watching some of the gameplay and the pe person who was playing it was kind of moving and stopping. Like moving and stopping, like really carefully. Oh, made it. Uh, you actually, you can go into it, but I'll show you something. Press up. It's dark, so go out of it again. Just go left or right a bit. And go over to the right. There's a lantern. Now you can go down. Hi, Atari. Is it treat time yet? I don't know. It might be treat time. It's treat time. Yum, yum, it yum, yum. It is treat yum. time. <laughs> RC70 says it's treat time. <laughs> go ring the bell. Ring the bell. Look at it. Look at there. Look. Ah! Ring it. Ring it. Ring the bell. Ring it. Ring the bell. Good kitty. Good kitty. Pixel will never do the ringing. <laughs> He's like, this is a ring. Uh, maybe he'll learn one day, but they're always together. And Atari is way more about ringing the bell than Pixel. Found some more enemies. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, you got that guy. Oh, I'm running out. I need Good kitty! Need me the health. I like the screen shake. Nice effect. Yeah, I mean, it works. Oh, you got that. Good. Did I? Uh, yeah, I think you were still at three before. Mm. Good kitty. Ah, duck. Oh, I got two. Yeah, you just don't know what side and what type of enemy's coming, right? 
Good kitty. Oh my goodness. Ooh, blood from the ceiling. Get one more treat. Good kitty! Pixel, why should I do the work when Atari's been doing a good job of it? I think that's his attitude for sure. <laughs> your hand's all disgustingly greasy, though. What the heck? That seems impossible. What was it? Oh, the blood. Oh. The blood drip was... Oh, a spider. You have to punch it. Careful. Oh, yeah, you got it. You got it. <gasps> no, these... Gah! Oh, you got it. Didn't hurt you. Still at two. You're very low. Whoa, I like I the, I like the rock shading at the top. Oh, it's no. really good. He's going to kill me. Probably. You have to move very carefully. Oh, he got you. He got me once. You're gonna die. One more hit. Oh! Ah, no, you're not dead. You're not dead. You're not dead. <laughs> I didn't mean stuck. Somehow he didn't kill you. I was down to one. I was down to two before. No, no. Wasn't I? You're at two. Then you faced oh, off the guy no. with the sword. Oh, then my. you went down to one. We need health. Badly. It's like a big branchy arm reaching out oh There's boy no way. this guy's so hard that's how you do it there you got him i feel like a kid like <laughs> just like <laughs> i'll get you eventually never bring a fist to a sword fight yeah yeah based on your story from earlier that, that much, much blood <laughs> it's falling it is somebody has a head wound right above it yeah. was pouring out of my head I couldn't believe how much blood. I thought there was something seriously wrong. But Tanya said, no, no, no. Head wounds bleed that much. They do bleed. Ah. I think with the fire... Oh, my God. Yeah, punch that guy. No. Nope. Oh, pile of bones. <laughs> Ghost gotcha. Yeah, maybe you duck him? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, you can reset did you go down? No, I didn't. I skipped this that one. This was right at the beginning. Yeah. Might as well do that one. Oh, I think this... No. I don't think you can do anything here. Just no. shows... Nope. In the... You can go to the left, too, so... Yeah. No brain matter. <laughs> yeah, never bring a fist to a sword fight. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Mm. Such twitchy game. What is that thing in the sky? I think it's a bird to show the parallax scrolling of the sky. In in the original, I think it's a blimp, but that one's just like a bird or bird something. Bird or a flying saucer. A blimp. It is a blimp, but it 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 just shows the scrolling. Yeah. Lost one already. Oh, that was terrible. No, there is there is health on this level though. So. You went right, correct? I went right, but I it must wrap. I don't know. No, it didn't hurt me. No. Like, you can flash, but not get hurt. Uh, it's yeah. like, it's warning you. Oh, that's the down. Oh, oh, this is where you were. Kinda. No, mine was a different color, so oh. you're in a different area. He did say four... Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can move like this. Oh, water. Better than blood. Oh, no. oh it's, that didn't it's hurt hard me, to get though. past there, yeah. This game is very interesting in the fact that you can get touched, but it's the length of time you're touched. Yes. That hurts you. Yeah. You don't see that in games very much. It's either like you get hurt or you don't. There's not a you kind of get hurt. Ah. <laughs> Nostalgic says, Blimp, this is a fantasy game. Ah. It must be an airship. That's right. Airships, yes. <laughs> Big propellers in the yeah. back. Ah, snake. Oh. Get, get that cobra. Yep. I like the seven. Oh, I got him. I'll get him. Know. Get him eventually. Like he's not threatening because he's not coming at you with his no, sword. No, he just kind of pauses. It looks like you're getting hurt, but you're you're actually not getting hurt. Mm. Oh, more water. 
blood. This, can you believe this is a 4K game? It's amazing. <laughs> it's got so many enemies. Yeah. So much like graphics going on. Um, and the variety of enemies, like the way they move, it is a ton packed into 4K. Amazing. Oh my god, it didn't hurt me though. I think it went right through me. So fast. Oh my god, it still didn't hurt me. We're in the lava level. Lava underground. Yep, it's got to be a lava level in every game. James Water used flail. It's super effective. Yeah, exactly. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> There are a lot of games like that. Button mashers. Button mashers. Button mashers. This is one. Oh. Oh, you have to duck those. Oh. Yeah. I think you have to keep fired. going out of their area, right? If you don't keep moving, I think they just keep coming forever. They do come. Oh, my God. What is that? Oh, I got, I got the orb. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Oh, there's a lantern and an orb. Oh. So I got a little thing down there. So. so do I go back or do I keep going oh. to get that lantern? Oh. oh, health. Oh, thank God. Not that I was bad. But... Looks like a Metroid shine. Oh. oh, that looks like it did. That end. is the end. <laughs> so do I go past that lantern holding dude? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I think you have to get back up to the exit. Ah, then I'll go for the lantern. Oh, no. that's it. Wow, that's amazing. A little bit of screen shaky mm. going on there. Not bad, but a tiny bit. Aeroformo official is... Wow. Oh. Aeroform official is, is in the chat. Oh, yes. welcome! Your game is astounding how That's much it awesome. packs into 4K. Yeah. Like, the number of enemies. It's amazing. And the variety and the look of everything. Mm -hmm. Caught my foot on the water. It injured me. <laughs> Ow, water. They are big drops, though. If you've ever been outside when it's been raining hard, it hurts. Mm. Thing's huge. It's like a flying stingray. Ah. My foot. Ow. Mm -hmm. So I have to go all the way through this again. And then go back up. And I went to the left, so I have to go back to the right yeah. now. Oh, you can go right up to him. Yeah, you just have to not get too close. Mm. Still dangerous. Though. I think that's a better tactic, just mm -hmm. in case you go on him. Because your health will just go zzz to zero. Mm. If you watch the original game, things come at you that quick. In the original, too. Best thing about being 4K is you can imagine how this would have blown people's minds in 1980. <laughs> That's always the saying, right? It would have blown everybody's minds. How did they pack it into 4K? Yeah. Mostly be uh, blowing the minds of the uh, the developers back then. Yes. <laughs> because the people who buy the games wouldn't know with 4K, 8K, no, 16. They'd be true. like, unless it came out in like 1979 or something. Be like, what is happening? Oh, that would just people would just yeah. lose it. Yeah, I think I got yeah. it that time. It's like a stingray. Yeah, huge. A ginormous stingray. That's oh, what's that? Is that up? Oh, it's it. Somebody took up the ladder. <laughs> I can't get up. Well, you have to keep going then, I guess. Oh my god, what the hell? Duck. Oh, that's right. Duck. Oh, I ran it. So if you keep running, yeah, apparently you only have to. Encounter He's one. He's moving. No, it's me. Oh. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> For sure made this game 35 oh. later, the 35 years later than I should have. <laughs> That's right. Should go back in time. Yeah. I mean, you did program it in assembly, so they had assembly then. That's how they programmed games. They weren't programming in Batari Basic. Of course, it's a port of an 80, 1989 game, so the earliest mm. you could have made it is 1989. Which still would have blown people's minds. For sure. Oh, I need health. One. Mm -hmm. 
Ah! It's being clever now, right? Then another enemy came on the screen. RC70, I wouldn't have known anything about gigabytes back then, but this would have <laughs> definitely blown my mind. Oh, I can't kill oh, the ghost. Oh, you can kill the ghost. Okay. Yeah. That maybe you'd had to duck it or something. Yeah, it was, it was bobbing up and down. I think it's because you had yeah. one life left. Navine says just needs a lush cinematic soundtrack while staying under 4K. That would be yeah, hard. There, <laughs> that would be yeah, hard. There isn't, there isn't any music, is there? This, is, it's nothing. Are so we sound? missing it? Or? No, I don't think there was. Might be missing like punch. No. Oh, there's No music, walking. but there is sound. Walking there's sound. Walking. Just right quiet on the TV here. Yeah. Well, it's quiet for you guys, too. Let me turn it up. It's just a very low volume. Because mm -hmm. every game has its own volume. Mm -hmm. Ah. 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 It's coming fast. Ah. ah. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's hurting me. No, it's not. You're hurting it. Okay, good. Oh, you oh. you went down by one. Jeez. Just by one, though. Yeah, it did hurt me while I punched it. <gasps> that, but you oh, have, I have to. to. go down. Ooh. Oh, no, it's out. Okay. <laughs> I need health really badly. There is health if you wrap the whole way around. Oh, my God. Beat the boss! That was the boss? Oh, my God, it's hurting me. I'm going to die. Furthest. This is the furthest I've ever made. I like that sound effect. Mm. The zappy? Yeah, it's cool. Got one left. Oh, yeah. You're in rough shape. Very rough shape. Need one some mistake. Help. I'm dead. <gasps> oh, no. How do you even punch him? Like, he's above your. I did very well. <laughs> very, very well. Yeah. That boss was Beat awesome. The boss. That was very cool. And you, yeah. you do get hit while punching him. Yeah. yeah. Um, astounding. Astounding for 4K. Yeah. I, I did do pretty good, actually. Yeah. 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 Made you it made pretty it pretty far. far. Saw a lot I didn't get of everything. the um, bad guys. Yeah. You want to see all did the Did that whole the underground enemies. area. Yeah. Oh, that other one. I didn't make it to the second underground area, mm. though. Which is what which you is did. where I went, which is good because you got to see both yeah. of them. Sure, there yep. we go. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, graphics amazing. Yes. The number of enemies, um, the variety, the the amount that you packed into four K. That that slow moving blimp blimp at the top is just adds that extra little bit. You of don't dimension. Yeah, you don't I like see that. that much in uh, twenty six hundred games where there's something that you can't interact with. Yeah, it's just kind of doing its own thing in the background. Mm. You don't see that too much, um, so that that's really nice. And your health, doing uh, rolling through the different colors. I love that. Really I really nice. like that. It's a really nice yeah. effect. It looks really beautiful. So congratulations. Yes. It's mainly time based, so it can occasionally, occasionally miss. miss. Uh, uh, it's a frac fractional damage. It's time based damage, so it can miss sometimes. Is oh, points. okay. So not. They fractional. were saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, very cool. Um, awesome, awesome job. Very, very nice. Looks like a challenge, yes. It's quite challenging. It's nice and smooth and looks like a, ni yes. a good challenge. Yeah, great game. Yep. There's a couple um, line jumps, but they're very minor. They don't interfere with the game, um, so it's not a huge deal. Mm. Um, so, lots of fun. So many good games. Great hey. games again. Hey. Red Pixel. Hey. So. Yeah. Lots of news, lots of games. Lots of cats. And we still did it in two treats. hours. Wow, that's amazing, actually. Actually, yeah. Has it only been two hours? Yeah. It wow. felt like three. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank for you for making the game. Us playing our, let it, letting us play your game. Yeah. So uh, this Friday, it's going to be with Darcy. It's going to be with, at noon. Mm -hmm. um, so tune in for that. We're yeah. going to be playing 7,800 games, including uh, Bonk, Plum Luck, Plum Luck DX, and probably one more. Mm-hmm. Um, and then on Tuesday, yes, Tanya's back, yes, and we're going to be playing 35 games on Tuesday. 
They're all done by Vitoko, who is in the chat a lot. I don't think he's here today. He is, yeah. Was he? Um, so speak up I if you hear so. Vitoko. I believe so. I believe I saw his name in there. Um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Vitoko. Okay, you just, cool. You just, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, he's here. Yay! <laughs> um, they are 10-liner games. He's, he he's programs them in BASIC yep. on the Atari 8-bit computer system. Mm. So they're very, very simple games. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a five-minute timer, and we're going to play one game every five minutes. When the timer goes off, click. The game is off. It's over. Um, then we move on to the next one because there's 35 of them. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be uh, the full two hours for sure. Um, there's some paddle games, a couple keyboard games. Okay. Um, so I might want to have the computer out on the floor and more towards us. Sounds good. Um, so, yeah, 35 games, 10 line competition. And we'll talk a little bit about the competition mm -hmm. as we go through uh, the show. Cool. So that'll be a lot of fun. Yep. And I'm we'll looking forward to bam, it. Bam, bam, bam. I'm very excited. Yeah, I yeah. think there's five uh, paddle games. Yep. Cat cam Cat games. Cat cam games, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Vitoko's Marathon. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> yeah, so I think he's participated in the 10 line uh, competition for like 10 years, I think oh, there okay. was. So, so there's a lot of games. A lot of games. He has them all on his website. You can download and play them all. Nice. And they're all like really basics, like one thing that you do in the game. They're like early games, like say Centipede. He's actually, I think he's got a Centipede game. A Centipede game? game? Cool. I don't know how I he like does it. these games in 10 lines. In 10 lines, yeah. Not 10 instructions, but like 10 packed like square block of lines with wow. semicolons separating the, the commands. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, he proposed that he proposed that to us as a thing to do. And I thought, oh, that's a, that's a cool concept to mm -hmm. do. Just blast through a ton of games. And uh, then we can talk about the 10... Uh, line competition that he participates in. That's very cool. And what 10 lines means. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a look at one of the programs really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, examine that. Um, and then uh, more stuff later on. Yeah. And like I said at the top of the show, uh, we're going to be including Lynx, Atari Lynx games in this very year's cool. Atari Homebrew Awards. Mm -hmm. Just got official word that um what is his name it's igor was it not igor or was igor um from atari gamer nice. is going to be helping us out with that there's his website he's all about the links games nice 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 and nice. so he uh keeps track of the game so so if we go to this game database I think you go like year 2021. Oh, and a rarity guide. You go, go, and it shows all the games in 2021 nice. that have been made. And there's like 17 games. Cool. Some of them are um, demos. Some of them are uh, utilities. But I think there's 17 or more. Nice. Now, so definitely enough for a competition. Good. Um, so we'll be adding that into it. No assembly. That's against the rules. But there are bitmaps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there we go. So that's what's coming up. So thanks for tuning in, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the games mm -hmm. and the show. Lots of people still watching, so I think they did. Yeah. Um, Lots of good games tonight. Thank you, Vitoko. Uh, looking forward to uh, next Tuesday. Uh, Nostalgic, Andy Cat, mm -hmm. Metal Lunar, uh, RC7E, Aeroform Official. Thank you so much for letting us play your game. Uh, Ricardo Pym. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Navy Vine? Navy Vine. That's not Navy Vine. Navy <laughs> Vine. You got it right. Smitty B7800. Um, Danny VC. Uh, Great Defender. Hey, Great Defender. Hey, Kev. It's Kev73. Excellent. Oh, he says, I remember playing that. Uh, that was the, the last game. We last played. game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, crossbow. Meow. Hey, crossbow. Meow. Uh, who else? Meow. Meow. Pixel. A pixel. See his little pixel there? Yeah. That's why he's named Pixel. He's got one pixel dot. Big round pixel dots. Uh, who else? Uh, Pack rap VG Carl steps. G. Carl G. Yeah. Uh, is that I it? think you're getting to the top now. Uh, oh, oh, proc FL. 
Um, I, think I think we, we got it all. There. Thanks everybody for watching. Yes. Um, we'll be back Friday. Yep. Early show mm -hmm. noon with Darcy. Yeah. Playing some 7800 games. Yes. So be prepared for that. Uh, thanks for the stream, lurking while programming. A lot of people do programming or other things while they have the show going. It's great. It's great. It's yeah. great for background. And, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, so we will see you next time. So thanks for watching. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye.